Major Kusunagi entertains a fantasy of death in Ghost in the Shell, which we first see about halfway through the movie, when the Major takes her partner Bato on a boat one evening in the middle of the ocean. While they're out on the water, Major Kusunagi reveals that she likes to go diving as a kind of meditative hobby. But Bato points out that she's a little bit crazy for doing this, because the Major has a fully cybernetic body made entirely of military-grade machinery beneath her artificial skin. And this body has zero buoyancy, which means she sinks like a stone, she cannot swim. And so every time she dives, Major Kusanagi must rely on special propellers in her diving suit that can bring her back to the surface. And if there's ever a malfunction, she's toast. And so Kusanagi's hobby is actually quite bizarre, because as Bato observes, she's essentially gambling with death. But the Major explains that this is actually kind of the point. Whenever she descends into the black depths of the ocean, she experiences a cathartic sequence of emotions. It begins with anxiety and fear as she embraces the void of her mortality, for she encounters a kind of symbolic death in the undifferentiated darkness. But then something happens when she reverses her descent, as her body returns to the surface and the light begins to penetrate the void and welcome her back into the world. In this moment of ascent and return, Major Kusanagi is filled with a feeling of hope because she feels like she is being reborn. And so this entire experience symbolizes a kind of transformation where Kusanagi embraces death in order to become, in some way, new. This fantasy of death and rebirth is something that the Major has learned to desire from the possession of a cybernetic body, which continually enhances not only her physical abilities, but also her powers of thought and perception. The Major has become obsessed with the idea of the cybernetic upgrade, which allows her to overcome the limitations of the biological self in order to achieve a higher form of being. But Kusanagi has also realized that her cybernetic enhancements have limitations of their own. Her mind remains imprisoned in a body, and she cannot escape the constraints of its perspective, or even the humanity of her personality, which governs her desires and controls her sense of destiny. The Major can sense that there are still new horizons of experience that outstrip her capacity even as a cyborg, and she craves to possess them in the way that human beings crave the life of God, though she also knows she cannot have them until she severs the final thread of her humanity. And that was the reason why Major Kusanagi entertained this fantasy of death in the depths of the ocean whenever she went diving in the evenings. The darkness of the void that she embraced symbolized the voluntary death of the self, which could release Kusanagi from the limitations of her humanity and deliver her to a higher kind of life. And this purely symbolic fantasy would even be translated into a reality in the climax of Ghost in the Shell, when a sentient artificial intelligence would invite Kusanagi to meld her consciousness into its own. The point of this invitation was, in a way, to destroy the person that Kusanagi was. But the goal of this destruction was not exactly to end her life, but rather to transform it into something new as a higher form of consciousness. And the Major, for her part, did not hesitate to accept this invitation, because it was precisely the kind of death that she'd been looking for at the bottom of the ocean.